I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn a shortcut method to find polynomial functions using finite difference. The question here is given the points 1 1 2 minus 3 3 5 4 37 5 1 0 5 and 6 2 2 1 are a set of points on the graph of the polynomial function determine the equation of the polynomial function satisfying these conditions. Right? Now, we'll use finite difference to first figure out what kind of polynomial are we working with, right? So that is to say, I'll write down uh, the points, uh, one, all these points here, and then we'll try to find the finite difference. So we'll list x, y coordinate points. So 1, 1 is the first one. Then we have 2 minus 3, and 3, 5, 4, 37, 505 and 6, 221. So let us find the finite difference and see the degree of the polynomial, right? So first finite difference for this equation is minus 3 minus 1. So that gives us, let me use a colored pen. Okay, so let's use this one, right? So minus 3 minus 1 gives us minus 4. 5 minus minus 3, it becomes 8, right? 37 minus 5 means 32. And 105 minus 37. So from 15, if you take away 7, is 8. And from 9, if you take away 6, it is uh, 3. 9 take away 3 is 6. Okay. And then we have 221 take away 105. So from 11, it is 6. And again from, because we borrowed, so 1 right and then 1 so 1 1 6 correct first finite difference as you see is not constant so we'll continue with this process okay so what we have here is now the second finite difference right first one is not constant right so we'll do 8 minus minus 4 is 12 okay 84 32 minus 8 is 24 okay uh, 68 minus 32, 8 take away this is 6, and then uh, 6 take away this is three, 36, and then we'll do 116 take away 68, 16 take away 8 is 8, and 10 take away 6 is 4, so 48. What we see is the second finite difference is also not constant, so we'll move and find the third finite difference. Now in this case, third finite difference is what? 24 take away 12 is 12, 36 take away 24 is 12, 48 take away 36 is also 12. So what we find is that the third finite difference is constant. And that clearly indicates that the function is cubic, right? So we have cubic function. So we could write our function f of x as equals to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Now that is first part. Now how do we find A, B, C and D? Well to find A, we do have a formula as we discussed. A is equals to finite difference which is constant finite difference of 12 divided by, since this is third finite difference, divided by 3 factorial. And the meaning of 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, right? So it is 12 divided by 3 times 2 times 1 which is 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So we get the value of A as 2. You get the idea. So A is 2 for us in this particular case. Right? Now since A is 2, we can actually substitute 2 in this equation. So if I substitute 2 in this equation and then find other equations, then it will be much simpler for us to work with. So now we are working with an equation which is f of x as equal to, so let me write down here, f of x as equals to 2x cube plus bx square plus cx plus t. As you see, we found A not by solving simultaneous equations, rather using the finite difference. So we now need to find only b, c and d. To find b, c and d, we need to work with three equations. So we'll select these three points to work with. Okay, so let us write down what is f of 1. Okay, so f of 1 
is equal to 1 for us okay and I'm substituting 1 here so I get 2 plus 1 so I get B plus C plus D so that is my first equation this equation I can rearrange right so once I rearrange let me use a different ink and write it on the right side right so this I could write as B plus C plus D is equals to I'll take one or two on the other side right so I'm rewriting this as B plus C plus D equals to 1 minus 2 which is minus 1 you get the idea right let's find the second equation f of 2 f of 2 is minus 3 when you substitute 2 here 2 cube is 8 8 times 2 is 16 so you get 16 here 2 squared is 4 so you get 4b plus 2 times c plus d right now this could be simplified a bit taking 16 on this side so we get 4b plus 2c plus d equals 2 when I take 16 I get minus 19 perfect okay and let's use one more equation since there are three unknowns we need to use three points that is 5 this time 3 cube is 27 and twice 27 is 54 so we get 54 here plus 3 squared is 9 9b plus 3c plus d right so writing it in a different color rearrange 9b plus 3c plus d equals to taking 54 to this side minus 54 plus 5 means minus 49 is it okay so we get minus 49 so these are the three equations to work with and I'll number these equations as 1, 2, 3, right? So this is my 1, 2, and 3. We can eliminate D by finding 2 minus 1, right? 2 minus 1 and then 3 minus 2 also. So we'll do both these 1 by 1. So when I do 2 minus 1, 4B minus B is 3B, we get 3B 2c minus c is plus c equals 2 minus 19 minus 1 gives us minus 18 right so that is our equation number 4 right this is this is equation number 4 for us now let us do equation 3 minus 2 9 minus 5 is 9 minus 4 is 5 so we get 5b plus c equals 2 minus 49 minus 19 right so it becomes plus so when you take away 19 from this you get negative number and 9 9 9 is 0 4 minus is 30 right so you get 30 so that becomes equation number 5 for us now we have two variables b and c two equations we can take 5 minus 4 to find the value of c right so we'll do 5 minus 4 correct so when I do 5 minus 4 what do I get 5b minus 3b is 2b right so 2b c minus c is 0 and uh, minus 30 minus 18 will give us minus when you take away 2 and from 2 it is 12 right so minus 12 that gives us a value of b as equals to b equals to minus 12 divided by 2 as minus 6 right so we get a value of b as minus 6 and I'll write this value of b as 6 as my equation number 6 since I know b I can substitute it back into one of my equations right so I'm substituting equation 6 in uh, let us say equation 4 okay and then calculate c so from equations 4 I'm substituting minus 6 so I've got uh, 3 times minus 6 plus c equals to minus 18 and that is also minus 18 so I get c equals to 0 right so I get c equals to 0 let me highlight this also so we get c equals to 0 and I'm calling this as my equation 7 so now we know b and c we can substitute that in one of our original equations and find d right so let us substitute these in our original equation which is here right so we'll substitute uh, b c and d so what we got here is b equals to minus 6 c equals to 0 we are substituting that in equation 1 so when i do that b is minus 6 c is 0 
plus d equals to minus 1 and so d is equals to minus 1 plus 6 which is indeed 5. So we get d as 5, right? So once we know that d is 5, we know our equation. Perfect. So now we can write the function f of x as equals to 2x cube b value for us is b is minus 6 so minus 6x six square c is 0 right c is 0 so so we'll no linear term plus d d is 5 plus 5 right so what you see is this time we could solve with three equations since we knew what a is from constant finite difference and we could get the equation of the polynomial in very few steps as compared to the previous example where we used four equations since since we wanted to find the value of a also right so what you see here is that in this particular video we have cut down the number of steps and the time to find the equation so this is more effective and now in the coming videos I'll show you even better techniques to find the equation of a polynomial function from the given data you'll be amazed to see how we can quickly get to the polynomial function. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.